have any of the psychedelic substances on our planet been created by or directly influenced by ETs? Yes, yes, many of them, many of them. Hmm. Now, when you say ETs, it does not always mean little green yeah. men made a psychedelic cactus on Mars and then brought us to Earth as a gift. But understand that many of the chemical constituents that are a part of these things are infused with energetics that come from a multitude of different levels of reality. Many of them are extra dimensional in nature and are extra terrestrial in nature. So in that sense, yes, there are modifications that are made on an energetic and chemical level that are connected to other species, to other realms, to other locations within the cosmos. Some substances have been brought here during the Earth's densification process. The Earth, as all forms, originally began as a light matrix that densified and densified and densified and densified and densified and densified and densified until it became solid. So the idea is that originally the earth was nothing but light, light that got denser and denser and denser, just as all of you. So in that process of the densification of light, light frequencies, light codes from other realities, from other beings, from other realms are in a sense inserted into the light body of the earth as it densifies itself and densifies itself and densifies itself. And that then engenders certain species of the earth whom will carry some of those codes, whom will carry some of those programs and the psychedelic plants, in particular, the psychedelic mushrooms are a direct result of this. Hmm. Um, yeah, speaking of psychedelic mushrooms, they've been found to rewire the neurons and connections in our brains. Yeah. I'd love to hear how this correlates to the shifting of realities. Well, the idea is it is a more bottom up way of shifting one's vibrational state so they can become more positive, which in turn will alter the individual's frequency, thus allowing for them to more easily shift in a preferential direction. So the way it's doing that is twofold. On one level, it's energetic. It has to do with the energy field of the mushroom, in a sense, in training the energetic field of the person consuming the mushroom. And that's what allows for a degree of neuroplasticity to then be experienced within the consumer of the mushroom. In addition to this, the psilocybin compound within the psychedelic mushroom also chemically activates the neuroplasticity qualities within the brain, allowing for new neural pathways to develop. Now, the more open an individual is, the stronger the effect will be. In a sense, the denser the ego is of the person who consumes the mushroom, the lesser the neuroplastic effect will be. So it's not that the mushroom does it for you. It assists you in doing it yourself. What's required is that you be open to that experience. And through being open to that experience and through allowing new neural pathways to develop, you allow for entirely new and novel dimensions of your own consciousness to awaken within you, which will dramatically alter your vibrational state, which alters the quality of how you are shifting through the series of parallel realities. Do you have a suggestion about how you, how we could use that permission slip um, to be able to make more noticeable shifts? Well, you have the idea that set and setting are incredibly important when going on psychedelic journeys. That's something to keep in mind here making sure you have some type of guide whom can lead you in a very powerful way through the journey. This will also be of great service, ensuring that you utilize the compound when you are in a place where you feel you are ready to make some kind of shift, where you feel you are ready to make some kind of change. These are things to keep in mind. Now, 
None of this is official medical advice. We're not telling anyone to take these things. We're not telling anyone that this is the only way you can shift. We're just letting you know, be responsible. And if you choose to use those types of teachers, make sure you take the necessary precautions. So not only can you be safe, but also so you can really expand and shift yourself in powerful ways that will ultimately be of service to you and can improve the quality of your experience. Thank you.